Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We need to discuss something that is going on <laughs> with these luxury brands. And I'm gonna get into another thing today. You probably saw from the title, why these brands are copying each other. Like I love the products they're coming out with, but it's, it's confusing. I don't get it. So maybe you guys can comment below and let me know what you think as well. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Today's makeup is really simple. I've been under the weather with a chronic illness that I have. You can discuss it in a separate video if you want me to, but I just have on my regular makeup, mascara, and then my Dior Lip Glow in this Clinique. Uh, it is called an Intense Moisturizing Lip Balm. I've showed it in a video before. I plan on buying some more makeup soon from Gucci. I'm really excited about that. I love Gucci across the board. We'll be talking about Gucci today. So that's what I'm wearing. Now let's get into the video. You know what time it is. It's time to... It's time to kick it up a notch. I'm so excited for this video. I really like talking about different brands in videos and getting people's opinion. So today's video is about why on earth is Coach copying Gucci? And now <laughs> before we get into that, I would like to say that I do like what Coach does with their collections. I really like this collection, but why on earth are they doing it so soon after Gucci came out with their strawberry collection? So I'm gonna show you in photos here, just some photos of Gucci's collection, just across the board, random photos, so right here. And I really love their strawberry stuff. So I have a strawberry t-shirt, I have a strawberry bag, I'll go get it in a second. And I just think that Gucci's strawberry collection is so beautiful. It is, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's revolutionary, but to me, someone who really loves hearts and strawberries and strawberry prints, just anything strawberry, I'm really, really in love with, hearts and strawberries. I am so about the Gucci strawberry collection. Every time they bring more things out and they um, kind of like reignite their collection, I guess you would say, because uh, it's not really reintroducing it. They have a line of strawberry stuff and they just keep coming out with more. So again, I'll put more photos here. I just am all about it. And my kids have a Gucci strawberry stuff, jacket, t-shirt. I have a strawberry t-shirt from Gucci and then I got the mini bag. Now, why is Coach copying Gucci? I'm now gonna put up photos of Coach's new strawberry collection. And I know they've had a strawberry collection in the past. Like I know a lot about Coach. So I think that they've had a strawberry collection for a while, but my point is, why is it so similar to Gucci's? Is there no like creative like inspiration? Are the, are the creative directors the same people? Like obviously they're not, but why are they so similar? I don't understand why people have to copycat each other. I never understood that. Like as an artist myself, as a dancer and someone who creates art, I don't understand why people have they feel the need to copy other people as if they can't come up with creative ideas on their own, okay? So comment below what you think about this. This is not an impromptu video, but because I've been in the weather for so long, about a week actually, um, I really wanted to bring you this video quickly, so it's not gonna be super long. I just wanted to get you guys' opinion on what you think about, you know, Coach copying Gucci because it's, obvious that they're very similar. I will also show you the little strawberry mini bag that I got. And I know that this is very overpriced. It was over $800, but guys, and I did sell something to buy this, just so you guys know. This is so cute. I've shown it multiple times, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with paying that much for this little item. And I know that Coach is underrated and I know that Coach is not as expensive, but I don't care. I personally feel like they should not be copying so soon after Gucci just came out with these, these bags, these strawberry bags, the strawberry wallet. Um, it was really a lot of strawberry inspired bags, accessories, SLGs. So for Gucci to do it right afterwards, like wait a few months, man, wait a year, maybe. Maybe it may, Six months, okay? Six months is a good time frame, I think. 
it's right afterwards. I just think it's, it's too convenient, you know? I don't like it. But anyway, I <laughs> that said, I probably will buy my girls one of these items from Coach, okay? I know, it's so bad. I'm totally like hypocritical here, but it's too cute, okay? And the price point is good. And I do actually feel like that's why Coach does it. I feel like because they know that people can afford it and this is so expensive and their items are a fraction of the price, I feel like that's really why they do the copycat thing. Do I like it? No. Will I buy it? Yes. <laughs> So comment below if you think I'm a hypocrite, okay? But I love Coach and I love Gucci. I just don't love the fact that Coach, so quickly after Gucci brought out the strawberry collection, copied them like right away, okay? That's what I don't love. Do I love their items? Yes. I don't love the copycatness part. <laughs> So with that, my video is over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what you think, your opinion on this whole brands copying other brands right after they release a collection. I think it is very strange. I feel like the lack of creativeness is, it, it's kind of like eating away at my soul slowly. <laughs> I know that's a little dramatic, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love content like this. Click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I will make sure to bring you more content like this. Have a great day, bye.